My name is Tony Holmes, Application Engineering Manager for Trilithic. Today we're going to talk about the Quam EVS mode. Now Quam EVS, which is the air vector spectrum, allows the operator to tune the meter to a downstream Quam channel and display its air vector spectrum to reveal noise and ingress that may be present under the Quam channel. The Quam EVS test can be performed on a channel from a specified channel plan or custom user inner Quam channel. The mode of operation is a cross between the Quam mode and also the spectrum analyzer mode. As soon as you enter the Quam EVS mode, it is tuned to the last tuned channel in the Quam mode. When the unit locks onto the Quam signal, the error vector spectrum is plotted. You can also see the current MER in the upper left of the graph. Now for setting the reference, on the bar graph, vertical displacement represents signal strength. The amplitude represented by the top horizontal line on the graph is the reference level. Now to change the reference level, all you need to do is hit your up and down arrow. Now to adjust the channel, just by hitting your right arrow, it highlights the channel number. You can hit your up, and, your up and down arrow and it'll take you through the channels based off of your channel plan. You can also use your alphanumeric keypad and individually press in the channel and press enter at the end. I'm going to hit the right arrow again. The dB per division, which is where I'm set at now, sets the vertical resolution for the graph. Now to change the vertical resolution, you want to use the up and down arrow. The resolution bandwidth, or the, uh, the dB per division, is set up in 1, 2, 5, and 10 dB per divisions. And you just use your up and down arrow to change those. I'm going to hit the right arrow again. This takes us to the digital frequency. This is the center frequency for the digital uh, quam carrier that you're measuring. Now to put in a frequency, you can either use your up and down arrow or you can use the alphanumeric keypad and individually press in the frequency and press enter at the end. Hit the right arrow one more time, which it takes us to our markers. The markers can be adjusted up and down with the up and down arrow. You can also, just as some of our previous uh, measurements, you can also use the alphanumeric keypad, press in the frequency where you want the marker, and press the enter key, and it'll take you to that particular point. 